Welcome back, nichelings, to the tribe, and of course to Niche, a genetic survival game, where in the last episode we started out on a new map and a new version, early access version 0.2.1. I was channeling my inner Sean Connery there, early access version, um, but here we are, we've got some food around, and uh, I've done a little bit of work off camera. We have renamed many, 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 many of the tribe. We now have AMX, we have Zal, Ethan, Math Machine. It's actually Math Machine, but it seems that there's a character limit on the, uh, on the family tree specifically. We've also got Wolf Girl, or Wolf Girl. Um, Wolf Girl, I, it's, I mean, it's spelt Wolf Girl, uh, but uh, we've got Wolf Girl, and we have uh, Reaper as well. Now, one has not been named. Anarami. Anarami shall be taking the name of the last episode's winner. So let me uh, type this down. It is a Mirad Miridian. Not a Meridian. Miradian. Miradian. There we go. There. Miradian. Congratulations. Miradian's message was congratulations to Mike Whitaker and Wolfji. Very, very kind of you there. Hope you both get tons of fun from the game. And also, you'd be interested in the raffle. Well, just as well you said that, because your name was picked, and as soon as you send me a YouTube private message, that is a direct message, go to the About page on my YouTube channel, and just click on the Send Message button, and include your Steam user, uh, the, the email address that you use to... Um, that is linked to your Steam account specifically. Then I'll be able to send it through there because I don't have a game key to hand out as with the keys that the developer sent me. I'll be sending the game through Steam, but I can send it direct to an email address. So you just provide me the email address that you have linked to your Steam account and you should receive the game more or less as soon as I receive that message or at least within that day. Now then, let's have a look at what we're gonna be doing today. We have spent actually quite a lot of energy moving around now this is where everything gets kind of kind of awkward because <laughs> I've, I've started renaming the nichelings and now i'm going to be talking about having you breeding with each other ah well i mean you know who knows maybe maybe you'll find love maybe you already have found love though and in which case it's just going to be kind of awkward unless your particular love is okay with that you know i'm not judging uh but one thing i am noticing is poison fangs. Now, almost all of Mike's offspring have poison fangs as a recessive gene. And both of Wolf Girl's offspring have poison fangs as a recessive gene. Mike is about to die. Mike is the only nicheling that has uh, poison fangs as both the dominant and recessive. Realistically speaking, if we want these fangs to be passed down, we need to ensure that that happens very, very soon. Mike might not make it. Mike might not make it. We'll have to see about that. We'll do what we can. Okay, so we're going to pass this turn. There we go. Mike, you have literally one day left. So bad. Okay, well, let's try and get as close as we can. One. Can you get in closer? Two. Can you get all the way over there? Yes, you can. There we go. We are going to pass on these fang genes as quickly as we can. Now you just need to get back to a nest. And there you go. Okay, now that used up a fair old bit of energy there, but that's fine. We've got plenty of harvesting opportunities around here. Plenty of harvesting opportunities. We have got a bit of a swimmer who also has the ability to crack nuts. Um, perhaps I should have you more over here near this tree, honestly. Let's go through here and we will explore on our way to the tree. I think will be the, the wise choice there. You can go ahead and grab those and just hop over there and grab these. No, that's not what I wanted you to do. Scallywags. Scallywax. Also, it has been pointed out that this is how we use the... Uh, we actually set whether they're beta, alpha, or gamma. And that is something that I need to look at. I mean, Mike is, is going to perish shortly. But AMX... AMX represents wholly new genetic code. And so AMX is actually rather important. So AMX, you're going to be an alpha. I need you to be alive. 
Uh, we only have two females. That inherently makes them much more important than the males right now. I'm not sure how it, it uh, how the spread of genders works with this. If it is literally a 50-50 spread, or if there's a bit of a difference, some animals, it's based on temperature. Some animals, they actually have an inherent ability to decide the gender of their offspring based on certain environmental pressures. Um, I've no idea how it's modeled here, but uh, Miradian is now an alpha wolf girl. I would also like you to be an alpha as well. There we go, and we'll ensure that you're gonna get food first. Mike, as you are on your way out anyway, it stands to reason that I would set you up there. Now, do, well, I'm very, very sorry, but I really don't particularly want to propagate the no poor. So, although you have got panda marks, I, I do like panda marks. I want to try and bring those in if I can. Um, Ethan and Reaper, I'm afraid that both of you are going to be going gamma because of your paws. There we go. Uh, math machine, uh, you're pretty solid, honestly, though you've got hemophilia as a recessive gene. Eh, not something I'm super happy with, but, you know, it, it'll be okay for now. And Zal, actually, Zal, you're reasonably important, so I'm gonna keep you around as well, because you've got uh, the good swimmer legs. All right, well, that was the first turn there. Now, we've got some rabbits around and other such things and all kinds of gloriousness that we need to, to work on. Um, right, well, we'll work on this side for now. Okay, so, you're able to attack, that's great. Go ahead and do that. You can actually gather a reasonable amount there. There we go. Now this, this bush, I'm, I'm not sure, is it just a regular bush? It is just a regular bush, but that's fine. You go ahead and gather all of that for me, please. You the same, if you would be so kind. There we go. And... Well, I guess... Well, really I need to get my... The only person with, with the ability to crack to start breeding and start passing on those genes. Those are, those are crazy, crazy important genes. Now, our females, one is up there, Wolf Girl and uh, Miradian. I need to get Wolf Girl down here or get AMX up to her. Because at this point, I really need to pass on that particular genetic trait. Goodbye, Mike. You you have seen this, this tribe start off fairly well. Well done. And we've now got Nutaku. Fortunately, Nutaku has a ruined paw. Really? How did that happen? Oh, of course, it Mike. Uh, did you get your... Ah, Scallywags. You didn't manage to pick up the poison fangs. That is that is quite a, a big, big sadness, honestly. I'm very, very sad about that. Uh, right, well, in the meanwhile, then, let's have you... Well, actually... Hmm. Time being, I could make a move over there, but for the time being, I'm going to move you there. Uh, I want to slay you, so let me just move in and just eat. There we go. Uh, you can breed. Following that, you can just move down here and then gather. Wonderful. Let's get you up there. It's quite annoying to move them around at the moment, but uh, that'll have to do for now. Go ahead, continue to gather. I would like you to make your move out of here, but realistically, it's more that I want Wolf Girl to come down to you. So let's try and do that. Well, I've carved enough of a path that Wolf Girl can actually move quite far. As long as I can see where she's going to, she's actually got a reasonable um, move great. It's just actually seeing around. This is one of the benefits of having the group together is that they can spot for each other. And right now we're suffering a little bit in that regard. Uh, everything else is done. We've got 40 food. We're using 8 a turn. We're not gaining 8 per turn. That much is a given. Right, we've now got... Ooh, fantastic. We've got a new female. Now, you have big body, you've got runner legs, you've got a big nose. 
It actually makes you look very, very happy. It's lovely. Immunity A and B, and you've got immunity B and G. Okay, well that's really good because we did need more females. So, uh, unfortunately, Nataku, you're a gamma straight away. But, uh, Kokosi is going to be an alpha. Alright, with that done, go ahead and grab that food for me, please. And hop on down there. I really do need to get rid of that, that particular grass there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I will use up your movement a little bit to try and help with that. Get down there, grab the food, please. Wonderful. Now, you're not really helping me there in terms of gathering. Let's have a quick scan around. Uh, yeah, everything is going okay there. Let's continue to gather. Now, I need you to start making your way across in this direction, and the same from you. Let's just get you over there if I can. There we are. We should be able to bring uh, Meridian up to AMX in the next turn, have them mate, and then probably on the same turn get Wolf Girl down to AMX and have them mate as well. Right. Nataku. I mean, he, on the plus side, you've got a swimming paw. That, uh, well, actually, no, you've probably got a swimming tail. Oh, no, sorry, you've uh, not got any of these things. You just, you can swim one tile per turn. It's the minimal swim. Uh, you can help out with, with gathering, I guess, for now. We've used, we've got, we're consuming nine food per turn at the moment, and we really not even remotely generating that much food, which is, well, quite bad, in a word. Quite, quite bad. Let's get down there, gather this, and then I'm going to reveal that so that I can just move around in this little area a little bit better. At the least, both of you can gather three per turn. We're up to 43, so we are actually gaining despite the amount that we're consuming. So, you know, that's, that's a good thing. There we go. Pull in a plenty of food here. That's your main job. Uh, right, Kakosi. Sure, you go ahead and just hang hang tight over here for now. I would like you to reveal the terrain a little bit more, just so that I can move around in this area just that, that little bit better. Right, if I can bring... Well, first and foremost, actually, let's have you move over there. You can mate. And then you can move over to the, the nest. There we go. That is fantastic. So, uh, Miradian is now able to possibly, if we're super lucky, bring another cracker to the tribe. Let's so have you move down. I'm going to have... Yeah, sure. Let's, let's move you up. You can mate. Ah, oh, drat, you can't see it. You still can't see it. Can you move there now? Ah, oh, thank goodness. Okay, that was that was unfortunate. It wasn't quite the way I was expecting that to go. I think you might actually be short-sighted. No, you've got regular eyesight. Hmm, that's interesting. But Wolf Girl is on her way out as well. At least Kokasi is... <laughs> At least we've got an, a new... The new generation has a female, because that would have been quite, quite dangerous. But, uh... AMX, how long have you got? Yeah, this is this is your last day, I imagine. Well, well done, AMX. You're, you're going to have a legacy. Well done. Not everyone can have a legacy, but you have. Let's hope it uh, does well for the tribe. We're up to 50 food. Okay, we're, we're not hurting for, for, for food right now. And it's kind of good that someone is about to die. That sounds terrible, but it is absolutely true. Zal... I would like you to mate probably with Wolf Girl straight after she has um, given birth to her offspring. Um, math Machine, do you actually have genes worth passing on? Not strictly, but you don't have bad genes. I mean, you've got you've got hemophilia, which I'm worried about, but it's a recessive. And, no, I think you might be alright, actually. I mean, you, you've both got runner legs, which is a nice uh, a nice quality to have. You, you, you're you good at, at feeding, so... 
Sure, we'll pass a turn. Ugh! That is not good. That is super not good. There is a there is a wee one right there. No! Terribleness. Why? Why? And you had the cracking quality. No! This is this is awful. Oh my goodness, you look amazing! Tell me you got the cracker ball. <gasps> you are amazing. Let's actually have a look at you. You've got a runner leg, you've got nimble fingers, you've got a big body. You've actually got a spiky body in your genetics. Oh, okay. You've got poisonous fangs, normal eyes. You have got blind eyes in your genetics as well. That is very nice. Very lovely coloring there. Beautiful eyes as well. You you have have been blessed by the, the Nishlin gods. You are the favored offspring. And pretty good over here as well. Swimming tail. Yeah, everything really kind of worked well together there. Alas, we have no poison. And that is quite a pain. Right, you need to be down here and you need to be walloping them as hard as you can. Same here. Wolf girl may die from doing this though. That is a big problem. Super big problem. How much damage do you do? You only do one. You do three. I'm almost tempted to have you join in. Very nearly tempted. Uh, you definitely can though. Uh, yes, yes. I know what I'm doing. You know what I'm doing. Shush. Don't make me feel worse about it, okay? Just hush. If we don't say anything about it, then I don't have to feel horrible. There we go. Uh, I would like you to start making your way up to those nests, if you can, please. Uh, well, actually, no. You, you can move into this nest on the next turn. It should be fine. Well, you're not moving anywhere. Um, uh, I'm really worried that we will will leave. If this attacks, will it attack the mother or the young? I can only assume it's going to attack the mother. And I, the game player in me says, "Move Wolf Girl out of the way." It's more important that that she she breed and and, and she's got many years left. She, if she takes much damage, she's going to flat out die. However, the Avak in me is like, no, no, I'm not going to force the mother to leave its young to just be devoured by a carnivore. No, I'm going to assume that she would actually want to stay and protect it, and even if it can't, she wouldn't want to abandon it. So there we are. Carnivore is taking a load of damage, and that was probably a, a really Silly thing to do, strategically speaking. But I don't care. There we go. We've stacked up as, as much as we can here to try and draw this carnival away. We'll see how it goes. Uh, no, no, who got hurt? It was you. Ah, uh, you've got one day left and you're bleeding. This animal has been wounded. Are you also bleeding? No. Have, are you hemophiliac? No, you're not. Okay. Well, this thing needs to die now. Like, super badly. Please be dead. I do need to use you because you've got such good um, damage compared to the others. Uh, I don't think... Oh, what's that? Lick this animal to cure... Oh, so cute. So cute. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Lazaya just licked her mother's wounds. Her mother is on her deathbed. This, 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 this actually small lump in my throat. I'm thinking about little, little foot licking, licking, licking the the shadow of the of the rock, thinking it was his mother. Okay, that's I've made myself sad now. Yay. On the plus, side. I don't think there is actually a plus side. No, I take that back. There is no plus side. But, uh, wasn't as bad as it could have been. She's already, she's already pregnant? What? How? She have twins? I uh, Fair enough. Maybe she did have twins. I have no idea. But we're going to do our best. 
she may give birth. She had a few more days left, but eh, they're all gone now. And it makes me sad. But tis what tis. Right, let's have you move over there. Um, actually, I should probably have had you... No, you're... Uh, you're still an adolescent. You're not able to mate yet. But we did the best we could. And I think we did a good job. Let's go ahead and grab some of those. Continue to restore the food around here. There we are. Now, you've got a cracker pull, so I absolutely want you making your way over there. Um, you've also got a cracker pull, so I need to make, get you over there, in fact. Uh, yeah, that'll, that'll do for now. I'll move you in the next few turns. Uh, you can help out where you can, though, with grabbing these berries. And that's the end of that turn. Ten people, but one of them is about to die. However, we have got... Uh, Mameko, who is the daughter of AMX and uh, Miradan, uh, Murad Muradian. I, I'm going to constantly trip, trip over that uh, name. I do apologize. We've also got Ko uh, Kokosi, who is the daughter of Zal and Miradian, which is wonderful. And are there any others with that pole? No, it's just you. You're the only one who managed to uh, come out of that with a cracker ball. But Laz uh, Lazir is also able to break nuts, so that's fantastic. I'm fairly happy with that. Okay, let's see. And yeah, she wasn't she wasn't able to procreate there. That's a bit of a shame. Right, let's move you in. We'll have and move over. That's right. So we've got Zal, who's going to breed with uh, Kokosi. Let's actually have a quick look. B and A, and you've got A and G. Well, you know, it's not terrible. You're not old enough yet. Zal, Zal's got plenty of life. Plenty of life in Zal yet. So we should be okay. Let's go ahead and gather up some food. Um... I love the golden eyes. They look really, really pretty. Let's get you over in this direction. I'm not super hyped about propagating the, the no port, but those blue eyes. If I had offspring that could either have gold or blue eyes, I would consider that a win. You know, because there's no possible eye combination out of that that is bad. Imagine if they came out with blue and gold eyes. I don't know if that can happen. I really hope it can. But I really don't know if it can. Uh, we've got... Wow. We've got a lot of females in this generation. Okay. Uh, Nutaku. You've actually been upgraded. <laughs> You're now an alpha. You are... Yeah, it's... You can... Anami, you can remain a beta. But Mameko, definitely alpha, because panda. Panda with blue eyes. Gorgeous. And yes, you are absolutely getting priority in the food chain because, you, because you're because you cute. Look, if it, if it works for real pandas, it can work for pandas in the game, alright? Pandas are basically failed. They're like koalas. Nature... That, that that just didn't work out, okay? A bear that eats bamboo? No. If you have to spend your entire life eating something that is so horribly inefficient for you that you have to spend your entire life eating it, otherwise you just die, something went terribly wrong. I'm sorry, the only reason that we're keeping pandas around is guilt and they look cute. I, I'm gonna call that one as I see it. I genuinely do not see a place for pandas in the food chain. Or, or in any kind of kind of niche, but um. Well, that being said, I am more than happy to accept it if I am way wrong, and someone can uh, fill me in on what particular ecological role pandas fill that we have messed up by getting rid of their habitat. In fact, you know, genuinely, if you if you believe that, do do chime in. You know, inform me about this. I don't like being ignorant. It's just sometimes it happens. <laughs> Uh, I imagine, or I like to imagine that that is more or less how it is for most people. They don't like being ignorant. It's just this thing that occurs. But 
But uh, yes, that, as far as I can see, pandas are around because we think they look cute. And so we keep them alive. It's, it's not a nice position to be in, and I kind of feel guilty as a human for the way that we're just dragging them, dragging them out, even though it seems to me like they would have died out on their own at, at, at some point. But we did meddle with the environment from what I understand, so we probably expediated the process. But I do genuinely think that it was probably a process that was just going to happen by itself with time. Alright, let's move you over there, and you can start cracking these nuts. Ah, oh, fantastic. Wonderful, in fact. Uh, you can help out over here, actually. And then I'll move your mother back, and uh, she can breed again with the math machine. Uh, you can go ahead and gather from there. Mutaku, you can gather these. I probably really offended a lot of people who love pandas. It's not that I don't think they're cute. I actually do think they're cute, and that's why I think that humans have gone out of their way to try and invest as many resources as we have in keeping them around, even though as a species, like, I genuinely think they're, they're a pretty poor example of where nature's like, oh, we're gonna experiment with this one. Ah, oh, experiment didn't turn out too well. Oh, well, you know, it's, it's all learning at the end of the day. Uh, right. Let's see. Um, well, you've got one more turn, and Kakasi is going to be ready to breed. And Ataku, you can probably, well, yeah, you can you can hang hang tight. You're doing a good job there, just just gathering food, honestly. But for Laz, uh, Lazia, I would like you to start moving up. We need to make our way over to those nests, and that's something that we're going to start. Ooh, I'm a little worried about that. But that's something we're going to be doing in the next episode. Now. As with episode 8, I am going to be giving away one more game, and that's going to be it for the giveaway. Episode 10 is where I will announce the winner of that game, and we will be wrapping up this First Taste mini-series at that point. There is a small chance that I may take this forward to be a full series on the channel for a little while. I'm really enjoying it, and there's so much more in the game now that I've not even come close to actually exploring all of the different qualities. We do not have a proper aquatic nicheling that can properly work in the water and I would love to get like a, a segregated part of the tribe that mostly just hangs out in the water or maybe drives uh, fish up to the shore where there's like a, a, a nicheling on the shore who's just fishing. That would be amazing. But if you're interested in winning the last copy that I'm going to be giving away, do let me know in the comments of this video. And again, if you're interested in being named at all, then just leave a comment. I pick the names at random from amongst those who've shown that they, they want uh, a nicheling named after them. We have in total five new nichelings who are needing a name. And we've actually got four... four elder nichelings that, that have already passed on. It's actually quite cool though. I'm really, really liking the way that this family tree just kind of keeps every, track of everything. But that is going to be it from me. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you have enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. As ever, remember to like if you liked, sub if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Take care everyone.